Did you know that you might be eligible for crypto airdrops? Is it something you've been seeing a lot in the space, whether it be on YouTube or crypto Twitter, but you just don't know how or where to go about it? Well, these are cryptocurrency airdrops that could actually be worth hundreds of dollars or in some instances, even thousands, and you might not even know it. You see, crypto companies that enter the scene and want to take the market share and promote themselves very commonly give airdrops. Bottom line is you might be eligible to claim free money and who doesn't like free money, right? In these so-called airdrops and you may not even know about it. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what airdrops are, some past notable examples and what to look out for from a safety perspective. I'll even show you how you can find if you have any unclaimed airdrops to go and collect from. Also, if you stick to the end of this video, I will talk about the next big airdrop and how you can go and check it out for yourself and claim. Now, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, please read this disclaimer and understand it. None of this that I say to you is of financial advice. If you seek financial advice, please go and pay and seek a professional to do so. Everything you see in this video, just my own personal thoughts, opinions, and experiences. So without further ado, let's get into it. What is a crypto airdrop? Okay, something you might have been seeing a lot in YouTube quite often, especially as of recent, or you might have been seeing it a lot on Twitter or on Telegram. Now, a crypto airdrop is a means of earning free tokens or coins from a crypto project. These tokens can be obtained in a number of ways. Now, although an airdrop is sometimes linked with free cryptocurrency, this is not always the case. You must invest time and effort or risk incurring transaction costs throughout the process. But of course, it is nevertheless possible to participate in an airdrop for free. So how do these cryptocurrency airdrops even operate? Well, crypto projects mostly have a limited number of tokens available for distribution to anyone who matches the eligibility conditions, and you can gain access to these tokens by completing certain tasks and activities. Signing up for an airdrop or doing these type of additional tasks is frequently required. You can claim the tokens after completing activities or winning them, or they'll be transferred into your wallet. So what are some examples of crypto airdrops? Well, hundreds of airdrops have occurred in the past, including airdrops from notable crypto projects. Airdrops have been happening in the crypto realm for years. In 2014, we saw the first crypto airdrop occur where a cryptocurrency project distributed approximately 50% of all of its tokens. Aurora Coin, a cryptocurrency project, has its own cryptocurrency token called AUR. Many airdrops followed the Aurora Coin airdrop in the years that followed, including ones of somewhat more well-known cryptocurrencies like Stellar Lumens XLM and Bitcoin Cash BCH, for example, delivering airdrop coins to Bitcoin owners at its height. Bitcoin Cash distributed one Bitcoin Cash token for every Bitcoin, which was worth hundreds of dollars. Another example was Uniswap's airdrop in which the governance token Uni was distributed to customers of the decentralized exchange or otherwise known as ADEX. In 2020, over 250,000 accounts earned 400 uni. As of right now, that 400 uni tokens comes to over $2,000 per person. Okay, and you can see that here on CoinMarketCap. And if you had sold your uni tokens at the right moment at the top of April 2021, you would have profited in over $16,000, making this an extremely profitable airdrop to say the least. So are crypto airdrops safe? Well, many crypto airdrops do appear to be innocuous and secure. However, this is not always the case, all right? Scammers have even discovered ways to defraud individuals using airdrops. They have devised methods to damage crypto enthusiasts by stealing your crypto or your secret keys. So keep an eye out for airdrops, especially when large sums are offered that seem, well, too good to be true, right? As the old saying goes. It is crucial to remember that connecting your crypto wallet to an untrustworthy entity or handing over your private keys is never a good idea. And I'm actually going to be doing a video on that specifically. All right. Never, ever, ever, ever provide or give anyone your private keys. Now, scammers have even deposited cryptocurrency in bogus airdropped acts. These tokens were discovered to be counterfeit and so, of course, unsellable. To avoid becoming a victim of fraud, it might be beneficial to study the team behind the crypto project and see what others think. Go into the term, do your own research. And on a note on security, make sure you head over to my link down below in the description, okay? It's gonna take you to my link page. If you scroll down, if you have not got a hardware wallet, guys, please, please, if not from here, from anywhere else, okay? There are other wallets as well, not just the Ledger. There's the Trezor and everything else, but like I always say, I only use and put links up of things that I currently use on a day-to-day -day basis. Make sure you have a hardware wallet. So anyway, moving on. 
Have you been parried to airdrops and you don't even know it? Well, a great place to start and look into this is a website you can come to, which is called Earnify. I'm gonna link this at the bottom of the description as well. And here you'll be able to come and find if you have got any unclaimed airdrops. You will see that they state here, Earnify finds $833 on average per person in airdrops and NFTs. So what you want to do is drop your wallet address here in this box. And this can be, by the way, on ETH, Cosmos, BSC, or EVM. Once you put it in and it checks for airdrops, it says here, as you can see, there are no claimable tokens nor PoApps for this address. Now you may have an instance where you will see an available airdrop, but it will say something like expired or expired forever. That basically means you had a certain time limit to claim the airdrop and you passed that limit. Now, on another address that I have, I have actually claimed over $2,000 on an airdrop of uni that I received, which was great as a good amount to say the least. Now, if we scroll down on this page just below, there's a good resource here showing you how to learn all about airdrops, see airdrop strategies, etc. Okay, if you just click that there, it's gonna show you study real airdrops, airdrop strategies, more resources, etc. Now you do have to log into this to get more of the features from this site and they also do have a paid plan which i believe is about 21 dollars a month or so and that will give you more features and it could be something worth doing for a month or so okay but i don't know i'm going to leave that to you to check out and see if it's worth it for me personally i haven't done that i didn't need to if you have used that paid service from this website or if you're going to please let me know in the comments below what you find it will be interesting to see now, remember when I said stick to the end of this video for the next big airdrop everyone is starting to talk about? Well, there is a big airdrop coming that is said to be worth quite a bit of money and it's called SyncSwap. I'm not gonna go into this project into too much detail because again, this is just an explainer video, but here is the nitty gritty. So SyncSwap is a DEX that lives on the ZK Sync ecosystem. Okay, well, there's been a lot of talk about this in recent weeks and they've just deployed to a newly launched ZK Sync era, okay, which you can find here. Again, all these links will be in the description below. This means that it is now on the main net and you can use real money to play around with ZK Sync. Now let's have a look at what you can do in order to maximize your chances of getting a main net ZK Sync era airdrop. First of all, with this being a DEX, okay, a decentralized exchange, the first thing you can do is make a swap within the trade tab or even explore the pools. And all you'll need to do is make a transactional trade, right, from the trade tab here at the top, uh, from ETH to USDC, etc. Okay, there's not many options at the moment, uh, and that will provide eligibility to the airdrop. You can also look at the pools, okay, and the pools here uh, will allow you to add liquidity and you can earn a yield, but I will just say, of course, the liquidity is pretty thin, so be a little bit weary about that. Now, the other thing you might be asking is how on earth do you get your Ethereum onto the ZK Sync mainnet? And that is the second task that you want to do when you're trying to maximize your chances of getting this airdrop. Make use of the ZK Sync era mainnet bridge. Again, link is down below. You can bridge a total of five different tokens, as you can see over here from the Ethereum mainnet into the ZK Sync era mainnet which is down here. And it is also important to note that it's currently only supporting bridging into and from the Ethereum chain. So to sum up, these are just some steps that you can do in order to maximize your chances of an airdrop on ZK Sync with SyncSwap. You will not only maximize your chance of getting the official ZK Sync airdrop when they launch, but you will also be able to maximize the chances of getting a SyncSwap airdrop. And as SyncSwap is one of the leading DEXs here in this space, you definitely will want to get in on this. Now, I'm not going to go into any more details of this. If you want more information on this particular airdrop, let me know in the comments below and I'll spend time on making a video just dedicated to this. But in any case, let's wrap it up here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, more importantly. And if you did, please don't forget to give this channel a like down below. And if you're new, of course, please consider subscribing to this channel. It'll be very much appreciative. I'll be coming up with this sort of content daily, so don't forget to hit that notification bell down below as well to keep up to date. Now, if you didn't see my previous video on how to trade on MT4 for beginners, very cool and interesting uh, instructional video, one of the best comprehensive instructionals out there for how to use MT4, please go and check it out over here on the right of your screen. I'll also be doing more how-tos this week also. With all that being said, thanks a lot for watching guys and I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Cheers.